Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to go through all of the details so you can get the exclusive Indigo Disc Paradox Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet. So there are four brand new Paradox Pokemon that are going to be available in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. There is Raging Bolt, Iron Crown, they have already been revealed. And on top of that, you're going to have Gorging Fire, which is the Paradox past form for Entai, and Iron Boulder, which is the future Paradox form for Terrakion. Now, the future forms Iron Crown and Iron Boulder will only be available in Pokemon Violet, whereas Pokemon Scarlet are going to have the Raging Bolt and Gorging Fire available to them. Now, to get these Paradox Pokemon in game, it is part of a side quest, and one of the criteria for getting to this side quest is having 200 Pokemon caught in your Blueberry Pokedex. So you don't need to complete the Pokedex for the Blueberry Pokedex, but you do need to have at least 200 Pokemon caught in this Pokedex to actually get this side quest started. And we are located right at the entrance of the Terrarium and you'll notice this familiar face from the Teal Mask and it is gonna be Perrin. You may have talked to her when you first come into the Indigo Disc, but she is the one that is gonna take you on this side quest. Hey Osiris, don't tell me you already got yourself 200 Pokemon from the Terrarium, impressive. Well, look at you putting in all the effort. I like to see that in a kid. You probably know more about Pokemon in the Terrarium than I do and I got here first. I guess you've earned yourself that hot tip. So take a look at these photos, would you? I'm gonna see some photos here. You can't really make them out, they're very blurry, but we've got one picture here it is in area zero and this is probably going to be gorging fire which is the entire past paradox form uh, so that's one and that's on top of a waterfall and then you've got raging bolt which is the other one we've already seen from the trailers that we had in the lead up to the indigo disc again down in area zero but in a much lower area of area zero see those strange pokemon that first one's called gorging fire and that other one's raging bolt totally unknown Pokemon in totally unknown places. If they're real, it'd be a huge deal. Maybe you could try to search these Pokemon out. I can show you the photographs again anytime you like. Just give me a shout and find me something good, Osiris. I've got faith in your surveying skills. So basically, that is the hot tip that we are given by Perrin. And that is all the information we're given. There's two photos, but we know that these two Pokemon are going to appear in area zero so we need to head back to paldea first and to the great crater of paldea so when you arrive at gate zero or area gate zero you want to just come in the main door and we're not going to be taking the teleporter down to any of the floors because we looked at iron gorge it was quite high up from the pictures that Perrin showed us so that is the first one that we're going to go for it's on the higher parts of area zero so that's where we'll be traveling to it was above a waterfall so we've got a good indicator with where we need to find this Pokemon. So you want to just head out of this way. It's worth noting as well that all the Paradox Pokemon, they are shiny locked. So you're not going to be able to get them in their shiny form. So don't save in front of them and soft reset thinking that you're going to be able to get a shiny. These are not possible to get in their shiny forms, unfortunately. So when you come to this point, we are going for Iron Gorge, first of all. I'm just here editing the video and I keep saying Iron Gorge and I do actually mean Gorging Fire, which is the paradox form for Entai. So I do apologize. It's been a very long day since the DLC started. I haven't slept yet, so that's probably the main reason. But just to be clear, make you aware, the first one that we are going for right now is Paradox Entai Gorging Fire. You want to head over to the waterfall directly in front of us slightly to our right and if you've got the, the fly function unlocked on your Maridon or Coridon then this is going to make getting around area zero a lot easier for you if you haven't got it unlocked already we have covered a video on the channel so you need to be in the post game finished seeing the credits of the indigo disc and then you'll be able to kind of unlock it very easily so check the video out it'll be linked in the top right hand corner of the video now so you can check that out after this one but like I say, we want to be heading this direction straight towards this satellite or this big satellite dish here. And this is where the Paradox Entai is going to be located just above this waterfall here. And you can see it right there. And this thing looks awesome because I haven't actually seen the, the pictures of this. Um, but you are going to be coming to this satellite tower from over in that direction. 
and this is the paradox entai so if it goes wrong you can save it in front of it of course so just to make sure that you can catch it but it looks awesome and this is going to be in pokemon scarlet pokemon violet players are not going to be able to access this all you need to do is just walk up to it and interact with it and then you're going to get this cutscene, which is very very cool and the paradox entai looks way better than anything i ever thought it would like so it's it's very cool and they are going to be pretty strong as well, set to level 75. So if you've got a false swipe user, it will help you kind of catch them. It will make them easier, especially if you've got something like Glade with that hypnosis to put them to sleep as well, just to kind of stall them out while you are trying to attempt to capture them. Right, let's try a Premier Ball. It is weak enough. It is asleep. Let's see if we can get Gorging Fire. One, two, three we get it there we go okay in a premier ball very nice very nice so we managed to get this pokemon it has got a signature attack as well it's like a protection move it doesn't prevent status conditions but if it takes any contact move during the turn that it does go for its uh protection move then it will burn the target it's a very strong attack you can see gorging fire is registered in our pokedex so take a look at this pokemon now take a look at its details it is fire and dragon a very strong typing and it does have that burning bulwark attack which is its signature attack and like i say a protection move if you make contact with it when it uses this it will burn the target so very strong pokemon okay so starting off the same place as we did for gorging fire i'm going to show you exactly where you need to go to get raging bolt so we want to fly out to the middle of area zero to start with they're going to be three waterfalls in this area well four really but the one that we're going for is to the left if we're flying straight out and it is this one right here but to access the area that we need we need to fly out a bit before we can kind of turn back on ourselves because we are going to be dropping all the way down to this level right here and this is the pool area that we're going to be heading to where raging bolt will be located so you want to just fall straight down you just follow exactly what I did in the video. You'll come to this kind of pool here. And this is exactly where Raging Bolt will be located. So you want to just head into this area here. And straight up ahead, Raging Bolt should be waiting for us. And as you can see, again, Raging Bolt is shiny locked. So you can't get it as a shiny. But it is worth just making sure that your Pokemon are healed up before you go into the battle. That you drop a save before you enter the battle with it. And then once you are all set, you've got enough Pokeballs, everything like that, you can then walk up to it and challenge it and get this one. I think this out of the four new Paradox Pokemon, it's probably the best looking, in my opinion anyway. I just really love the design. Pretty much like the same scenario as last time. We want to make sure that we are putting it to sleep, utilizing false swipe. It's so big, you can't even get it in the frame. Right, Premier Ball again. We get a critical catch nice so we get it so that is raging bolt it has got the thunderclap as its signature move which is a bit like an electric type sucker punch so that is its signature attack it is a electric dragon type pokemon but that is the raging bolt and the gorging fire there right with the past paradox forms already covered i'm going to show you where you can find the future paradox forms if you're playing in pokemon violet we'll start off with iron boulder which is the terrakion future form now we are starting in the same place as we did for gorging fire and raging bolt as you enter area zero but the place that we're wanting to go is we're going to fly all the way to the bottom level of the crater but not into the actual crater itself just on the outside so we're just going to fly this direction and it's literally kind of to the right of us now you can see that rock face just below us right now is what we're kind of aiming for below this research station so we want to just fall all the way down here and this is going to be the location of iron boulder and hopefully this is a good way for you to kind of follow along an easy route for you to go to you can see when just above the crater here and you can see this is the stream to the side you've got that big rock right at the bottom here on the slope and it's this rock here with where we want to be going and you just want to come around this way and in this area here when you come around the iron boulder will be located and this is where you're going to want to be it's very difficult to show you because we can't pull a map up of area zero but this is the location iron boulder will be located here if you are playing on pokemon violet and again for the next future paradox form if you are playing on pokemon violet you are going to have 
Iron Crown as your second Paradox Pokemon that you can find in Area Zero. Again, we're starting off at the same point that we did with the other four, just as a reference point, so it's a bit easier for you to kind of locate these Paradox Pokemon in your games. And once you're at this spawn point, you want to just make your way over to this area here, and there'll be a hole in the ground here. And you want to just jump into this space and let yourself fall down. There'll be a couple of Pokemon there, maybe, but the Iron Crown will be located exactly here. This is where Iron Crown will be located You'll be able to see the research station in the distance. It'll match up with the picture that Perrin showed you in your game. And this is where Iron Crown is. So you can pick both the Iron Crown up and the Iron Boulder as well in your games. And once you've caught them, if you come back and speak to Perrin, what a service, that Pokemon. Isn't that the Pokemon from the picture? That's a real life gorging fire. Just look at the shape of its head. There are rumors that say this fellow can make magma erupt from the ground just by roaring. Aha, if this is true, then this thing would be a real fearsome threat to face. Now let me snap a couple of photos here. Take some photos. This could mean the other Pokemon I showed you is real too. Report back to me if you find it, okay? So we've actually caught both of them, so you want to just engage in a conversation with her once again. And that's pretty much the side quest done now. Wow, you actually went and found them both. I can't even be surprised. That's just like you, Osiris. Between you and me, I was having a hard time focusing on my own work. I couldn't keep my mind off those photos. You saved me. I know I didn't promise any rewards or anything, but I've got to thank you for putting the mystery to rest. Here you go. This prize is a real catch. And you are giving a sport ball. So that is a very cool reward. One of the balls that isn't very common. New to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet through the Indigo Disc. Obviously wasn't obtainable. It is available in previous generations. But isn't as yet been available in Scarlet and Violet. So a very nice gift that you are given from Perrin for completing this quest with the Paradox Pokemon. That is everything for today's video. I hope you have a lot of fun doing this side quest in the Indigo Disc DLC. Obviously getting the 200 Pokemon before Pokemon Home is compatible with Scarlet and Violet Indigo Disc DLC. Maybe a little bit tricky, but it is doable. And have a lot of fun catching these Paradox Pokemon when you do get around to doing this side quest. Very cool Pokemon. Let me know which one is your favorite design out of all four new Paradox Pokemon that we've had revealed. I'm kind of leaning more towards Gorging Fire the more I look at it. It's a very cool Pokemon. So thank you so much for tuning in, friends. Have a great rest of your day. If you've enjoyed today's video, do leave a like and do subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of our Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content. And I will see you in another video very soon. So until then, take care and bye-bye.